Hello, hello. This is Al from MacMethods.com, a blog about Apple computers. When you are buying a Mac on Apple site, after you select the type of laptop, you want, uh, they present several upgrade options. Apple entices you with a relatively low starting price and then presents upgrade options, hoping to push you some extras and get more money from you. This is called upselling. This part gives a pause to a lot of buyers. They start thinking, hmm, if Apple gives me an option to upgrade, should I do it? Will the base specs be enough? Again, the question of future proofing comes up. In the next three videos, I will review upgrade options for storage, memory, and processor. Today, we will be talking about storage. MacBooks come with SSD drives, which are very fast. SSDs are more expensive, expensive than all the magnetic drives, and that's why currently base models of MacBook Air or MacBook Pro 13-inch only have 128 gi gigabytes. I have a feeling that very soon the base models will have 256 gigabytes because the storage prices are coming down. But even with 256 gigabyte, you will still be asking yourself if uh, 256 gigabyte is enough. My opinion is that if you are using the laptop for working with office documents or browse internet and watch YouTube, you will be fine with the base model. In this case, do not spend money on any upgrade. Buy the cheapest base MacBook Air and you will be happy. However, there are the cases when more storage is worth the money. I will present some scenarios, but I want to explain you how I decide the amount of gigabytes I need. The storage on your computer is used uh, for four main things. Operating system, uh, on Apple it's called macOS. Applications and their cache. Working documents such as photos, Word documents, raw videos, and archive documents. Each MacBook comes with an operating system, uh, which, which is called macOS. And it does take some space. Uh, currently, it takes around 20 gigabyte. So if you are thinking that you bought a MacBook Air uh, with 128 gigabyte, uh, all that space is, will, uh, is for you, uh, it is not. On a brand new Mac with nothing installed, you only have 108 gigabyte for your documents, for your applications. And how much space do applications take? Uh, these are examples. For instance, Excel, if installed on your uh, MacBook, takes around two gigabyte. Same with PowerPoint and Word. So if you install Microsoft Office with three uh, those three applications, uh, six gigabyte are gone. On the other hand, games take much more space. For instance, Counter-Strike uh, takes around 20 gigabyte. Civilization, uh, 15 gigabyte, and Fortnite, 19 gigabyte. So uh, if you ask me, when do you need more space on your MacBook? When do you need to uh, spend more money uh, on the storage? My answer is, if you do uh, following things, not limited, but these are main things. If you have a boot camp, um, or if you don't, if you don't know what boot camp is, then don't worry about uh, about it. I, if you run games, uh, you already saw that uh, each game takes around 20 gigabytes. So if you have five uh, five games installed, uh, you are out of space on the base model. If you do a lot of video editing or photo editing, videos and photos they take a lot of space. In, so in these cases, you may consider buying extra storage. Also, don't forget that uh, storage doesn't have to be in your MacBook. You can buy external hard drive or a cloud storage. And in, in most cases, it could be cheaper. For instance, additional 200 gigabytes you can buy additional 128 gigabyte storage on your MacBook Air. At the same time, 
if you invest an external hard drive, SSD hard drive, for $150, you can buy a one terabyte uh, drive. Also, in the future, for the same money, you can buy more storage, but if you uh, spend more money on your MacBook storage, uh, you can't upgrade it uh, after, you, after the purchase. Another option is iCloud. For instance, uh, a plan with 200 gigabyte costs around $299 per month. Think about this. For $200, you didn't spend on uh, upgrading your storage on a MacBook Air, you can have additional 200 gigabyte in a cloud for more than five years. So to conclude, when you need uh, more storage, if you're running multiple operating systems, uh, it's a bootcamp, uh, if you have lots of applications installed, they take some space. If you have games installed, you need more storage. Also consider using external hard drive or cloud uh, for documents, especially for your archive documents. I mean, the documents you, not, uh, you don't need right now. To learn more about my approach to storage options, please go to macmisses.com slash 128. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.